Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Preventures, you guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Feature Fight video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Captain Marvel with her brand new uniform in ABX and, of course, ABL. We're going to be taking advantage of the new training mode uh, edition that came in this update. If you didn't know about it, you can basically play whatever ABX and ABL that you want to take a look at your characters ahead of time and just sort of practice getting the perfect scores with these characters, uh, which is really nice for a content creator as myself. Because uh, now I can go ahead and get these review videos done a little bit faster. Of course, this time around we got busy, so these reviews are a little later than usual. Uh, but starting next update, we'll be getting our ABX and ABL reviews done a lot faster than before. So anyways, last time we took a look at her in World Boss Legend. Uh, this time, of course, we're going to be going into ABX and ABL. It's going to be interesting to see what she can do, especially with no artifact. I'm curious. Uh, and with a Mighty Destruction, those are two sort of biggest variables of her build here that I am going through. Uh, I'm not going to talk in depth about it since we already did that in the World Boss Legend video. But there is sort of a look at her build. But it's going to be interesting today to see what she can do uh, because she has no artifact and because she has uh, a Mighty CTP of Destruction as her CTP. Uh, so it's not going to work as well uh, as a, um, what's it called, Wood? Um... There we go. That's the right day. Um, it's not going to work as well as a mini rage or rage is going to do. Obviously, for ABX and ABL, if you don't already know, a, a rage is going to be the best option for you, uh, especially with uh, Captain Marvel. She's not the most prop friendly character, so rage is going to work really well for her. All right, let's get uh, set up here. Her best team. We're going to be running on the Universal Superhero Burn Day because it's the main day they're going to be using her. Uh, you're going to definitely be using her over uh, Scarlet Witch now because she goes over to level 80. Any other days here for ABX, uh, I mean, she can't run Super Villain Universal because she's obviously not a Universal plus, or not a villain, plus Jean Grey already covers that. Uh, and then, of course, the days we use anybody, Jean is probably going to be your best bet other than, or Magneto, depending who's on your account, uh, to get your highest score. So, the main day you're going to be using her for is going to be Universal Superhero Female. And that's, uh, well, actually, that's the other day. So, it's going to be two days. Universal Superhero Female, which you're probably going to run her... Uh, and then Angela, and then probably just Medusa support. Uh, and then the other day that she's taking over, of course, uh, is going to be Universal Superhero Day, uh, which is the one we're going to be running into. Uh, but you do have Thor and Ghost Rider on this day as well. But the reason why I want to run it on this day uh, and Odin is because I want to be able to use Ghost Panther as a support. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it on ABX to see how we can do here. This is my second day now using her. Uh, so let's see how much better I've sort of gotten with the rotation. Uh, let's see how this destruction works out here uh, in ABX. It's going to be pretty interesting. So our goal, of course, is to make that 7 million uh, points. If she can make that, then I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Um, whether that's at level 80 uh, or uh, level 70, either one. As long as one of them can make it there, I'm fine. Uh, if level 70 can't, then I hope level 80 can because, of course... Uh, that is basically uh, what most casual players uh, of ABX and ABL, as myself, are aiming for. Is that 7 million in ABX, 6 million in ABL. Because uh, that gives you the first uh, set of chests uh, with the tokens. We at least get our hands on a little bit of it. Uh, so I hope that is what we can do. So if we can hit uh, 7 mil here today, that'd be perfect. Because then that means that uh, at level 80, should be able to go even higher. Uh, but we'll see how close we can get. Uh, we're already at 3 million, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, I think we'll be able to do it just fine. And unfortunately, her targeting there was completely off. She went straight to um, the minions uh, that were around instead of uh, the Frost Beast, which kind of screwed us over a little bit there, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's all good. Uh, it still worked out uh, quite all right. Here we go. We're going to run and build up her uh, destruction again, which is really weird. Haven't had to do this for anyone since Thor. 
so it is very awkward for me to use. Uh, but I am also sort of, uh, I, I was sort of at one point used to it. Uh, so it's not too big of an adjustment. It's not something new to me. It's just something I haven't done in a long time. Uh, it's just kind of giving me a little bit of uh, flashbacks here. All right, he dodged pretty much almost the entire uh, beginning of his rotation, uh, so that was unfortunate. Our rotation was very well timed there to destroy his shield. It has been both times, actually. Our rotation lines up really nicely um, to sort of uh, be able to destroy the shield, so that's nice. I keep popping the second skill just in case right after, uh, but half the time, I don't even really have to. Uh, which is actually really nice. So we're going to go ahead and pop this tier 3 rotation. Then we're going to hit the 7 mil that we're talking about. So I'm already happy with her performance, at least on my account. Because uh, that's all I really care about is making that 7 mil. So there's the 7 mil in ABX. So now we just need to hope that she can make 6 mil in ABL. And then honestly, she'll be a really good addition to my account. And of course, a mini rage and level 80 will only amplify that even more. Uh, which would just be a nice addition to her scores. Uh, I don't think she's going to hit 13 mil on my account uh, unless I give her a full-on rage. Uh, so I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, but if she were, were to do... What just happened? Okay. Well, our run just got screwed over because we lagged. Uh, and as I popped my fourth skill, for some reason it didn't register. Uh, so it didn't hit him at all. And it didn't end up getting in his uh, rotation. We're actually going to lower the graphics to low after this run. Because as you can see... The lag is insane. I literally cannot move uh, at all or be able to see what I'm doing, uh, which is really annoying. So we end off with 8 million there. Again, I'm happy with the 7 mil. Uh, that definitely could have been a little better there if I didn't lag so much at the end. Uh, but I'll take the 8 mil. That's pretty nice. Uh, and, well, that lag at the end might make it a lot easier to beat her score at level 80. Because uh, I have noticed some characters, their improvement from 70 to 80 uh, aren't really seen too much in ABX and ABL. Depends what the character is or who the character is, I should say. Uh, so we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it doesn't really always uh, work out for the best here. So I think here it is. Yeah, so we're now we're going to have to run. Obviously, on this day, you're most likely using Jean Grey. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use Scholar Witch's leadership just because it's 10% more energy attack than Angela's support, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use it for ABL here. So yeah, like I said, the target score here in ABL is going to be 6 mil. I don't know if she can reach it uh, on uh, at level 70, uh, but I have confidence that at level 80 she'll be able to do it. And yeah, like I said, if she reaches both those accomplishment, accomplishments on my account, that's a W. Uh, she's definitely a great pickup for uh, ABX and ABL for me. Obviously, for other people who have either higher or lower standards, depending on where your account's at, uh, some people are going to be expecting those 13 mils out of her. Uh, some are going to expect... Sort of 10 mil. Oh, I could have popped the tier 3. So I'm going to expect the 10 mil out of her and, um, of course, ABL here. Uh, but not me. I'm I'm going to be very content uh, with uh, just being able to get the first set of chests here. So we had to uh, play out the tier 3 a little longer than I would have hoped for just so that we could guarantee that we canceled them out there. Of course, we didn't want another situation uh, for what just happened with the Frost Beast where... Uh, their skin hardens or uh, with Surter, of course, he'd go ahead and just <laughs> try and wipe us off the face of the planet. Uh, we didn't want none of that. Uh, so we tried avoiding it uh, as much as humanly possible. All right. So, yeah, six mil here is not looking uh, great. Uh, hopefully at level 80 will look better. Uh, but who knows? Uh, we just got the Odin's Might and the damage is going crazy now. Uh, so maybe it is possible. We'll see. Uh, having to run around though, like I said, uh, with the destruction is neither ideal nor fun. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, that we do be able to, we are able to get this sort of off of her and get that mini rage, uh, cause that would be a whole lot nicer right about now. Uh, and unfortunately, again, another rotation that's kind of lost in the space. Nothing was hit off of that rotation, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but it is what it is, because then we went ahead and popped Tier 3 that actually did hit for a lot. Uh, and we're at 800,000 uh, points there, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and grab this. We need to pop the 5th skill as soon as possible. Pop the 3rd skill, and then pop the 4th skill, which should break off his shield. Nice. Then we're going to go ahead and get our proc up without trying to get hit as least amount as possible. Although it is very difficult when they're all running at you like that, and you're trying to run in a different direction to hurry up and get your... Um, up and ready uh so yeah it is like i said less than ideal but we're at one million now 
Uh, like I said, <laughs> six mil is definitely not in the books for her, at least at 70. We'll see how it looks at 80. Uh, and I'm going to have to double check. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, six mil mark where you get that first chest. I could be wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. We're going to grab the Odin's Might here, uh, go crazy and take advantage of it. We're going to pop the regular rotation. Then we're going to pop a tier three right after this as soon as we can build up our destruction, which is really annoying because look at that. We could have already popped the tier three. Uh, rotation like a couple seconds earlier there and it caused us to screw it up because i was so busy on trying to move out of his attack yeah it's it's real annoying i'm not gonna lie <laughs> destruction is uh not the way to go uh do not put it on her unless you already have it on her uh mini rage is definitely the way to go until you can get a rage for her but there you go 1.4 million uh score in abl not bad uh of course like i, I said uh i'd much rather prefer her get to that six uh, mill, but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible for her unless I give her a rage uh, and or maybe just a mini rage will be enough to get closer at least. Uh, I'm now I'm now looking at at least just trying to hit that four mil mark for the TCP uh, or the two and a half for the artifact chest uh, at the very minimum. Hopefully we can see that uh, next time and uh, in the uh, level 80 ABX and ABO review. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm very happy to use that new training system. It's very nice, uh, and I really appreciate them sort of adding that uh, into the game because it makes things a lot easier for me, uh, especially when on days uh, or updates like this where I'm actually behind, uh, I can catch up pretty easily because I can just go into training mode. I don't have to wait again for the ABX and ABL day to come back up because if I miss it, uh, then I'm sort of screwed, uh, but not anymore, which is nice. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back later today with uh, the GBR level 70 and level 80. We'll hop right into it. And then tomorrow we'll be back with War Boss Legend level 80 and then wrapping it up with uh, ABX and ABL level 80 that night. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Stay locked in on the channel here. See you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace out.